All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome in. Payoff pitch on Thursday, May 19th, exclusively available on the Action Network YouTube channel. Brendan Glasheen joined by Sean Zarillo and coming to us live from the 18th green at the PGA Championship, Colin Wilson, here to talk some baseball. How you doing there, pal? You feeling okay? It looks really nice. I'm getting my vitamin D in. I got a heavy bet on Rory McIlroy, so things are going really well right now. Excellent. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we've got the prop master joining us on the show later on, Sean Kerner. He'll give us his favorite MLB player prop for today's eight-game slate. You'll want to stay tuned for that because when Sean puts that pick out, usually the line moves instantly. So stay tuned for that. That's coming very soon. Uh, we've got a couple of afternoon games today in Major League Baseball, so we'll have picks, best bets. As always, we encourage you to get in that YouTube chat live and uh, drop in some questions. Ellie's already in there. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, please, questions, comments, concerns, we are here for you. First, as we always do on this show, want to remind you of the home run contest that uh, when you watch the show, go in the chat and simply choose one player today that's going to hit a home run. And the first person to correctly guess a player that hits a dinger will win $50, courtesy of the Action Network. Last week, we did not have a winner. So perhaps we're due. Only one guest per person. So please do not spam the chat. One player per user on YouTube. Okay, John Zarillo. Let's go to best bets first. We'll start with you. What do you have for us today? Gonna take the Mariners first five money line here, plus 104 at FanDuel. Like that down to plus 102. Tried to bet against Rich Hill a lot this season, perhaps unsuccessfully. 334 expected ERA. 432 expected fifth, but I'm not really buying what he's doing. Velocity pitch mix still stable. Swinging strike rate at 8%. That's roughly where he's been the past couple of seasons when his expected metrics have been north of five. On the other hand, you have George Kirby, who I think is a sleeper pick for AL Rookie of the Year. Former first round pick out of Elon. Amazing fastball around 96, 97 miles an hour. It's a 70 grade pitch. And he also has 70 grade commit. 137 strikeouts, 20 walks in 115 innings in the minor leagues. Doesn't give anybody free passes. So I like George Kirby to limit walks, strike out a bunch of guys, keep this game close, and for the Mariners to win the first five innings. Like I said, I like that to down to plus 102. Okay, very good. We got some plus money as well. How about you, Colin Wilson? Your best bet for today on the eight-game slate in baseball. Well, I appreciate Sean getting on the George Kirby train. I've been writing every time it's the overnight line. I've got to bet me some George Kirby. So we'll get to that later. But I'm going to go with the Yankees first five. But it's juiced up so much. I'll take them on the run line. I'll take them minus one any way that I can get them. Jordan Montgomery gets an Orioles lineup that's 27th or worse in every single category. Their Z contact and their whiff rate is 29th. Uh, the Yankees are just going to be up early here. The Bombers are plus 19 against four-seam fastballs, meaning Bruce Zimmerman is going to have to do, get his changeup going a lot. That's the one pitch that the Yankees are kind of, you know, neutral run value against. But what good is your changeup if you're getting smacked on your fastball? So I think I think the Yankees are going to have a lot of success here. Uh, you know, it's a t and the Yankees are number one at barrel rate right now, which is one of the most important metrics when you're looking at sticks and who's making contact and whiff rates and chase rates. So I definitely think uh, the Yankees first five, but I'm not going to lay all that juice. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a little bit of run line, a half or a minus one, whatever you can get. Very good. Okay. Yankees winners are four straight, and they are second only behind the Dodgers in uh, run differential plus 75 here. The Yankees continue to roll. All right. Let's not bury the lead. Let's move in uh, to player props, and let's welcome in Sean Kerner, Director of Predictive Analytics at the Action Network. Well, uh, Sean, uh, as we said off the top of the show, you're ready to give us your favorite player prop from today's slate. Sean is one of the top prop guys in the business. Routinely, when he puts out a pick, the market is quick to take down his pick and change the odds. So special opportunity, everybody. <laughs> Be sure to listen very carefully. Get out a pen and paper. Record it, whatever you need to do. Sean Kerner, eight games to choose from. So I feel like it's going to be extra sharp on your end today. What's your favorite player prop on the slate? Yeah, so I'm actually piggybacking off what Colin just said. I, I'm going with Jordan Montgomery over four and a half strikeouts today. Um, it's minus 122 right now over at FanDuel. Uh, the game starts in about 30 minutes, so hurry up and get your bet in. Uh, but I love the value on the over here. Uh, Montgomery's K rate uh, has, has been a bit low this year. It's at 7.4, but his underlying rate stats have been phenomenal. Uh, he has a 69% first pitch strike rate, 37% uh, chase rate, 
14% swinging strike rate. So I expect him to be uh, above a 9K per nine inning pitcher going forward, like, like he has been the past two seasons. Um, and this Orioles lineup today should be great for racking up some Ks. Um, first off, let me just say I'm not scared that they're they're throwing a, bu a bunch of right-handed hitters up there against a lefty today. Uh, Montgomery's actually fared better against right-handed batters in his career, striking out 23.3% of hitters compared to just 21.6% lefties. So this is actually a better matchup uh, for Montgomery. But, um, you know, the one through seven hitters, I am projected around a 25% chance to K each batter. Uh, but the eight and nine hitters, Ryan McKenna and Chris Owens, I am striking them around uh, 35%. So it's going to be key for him to face them a second time. Um, and based on his last outing, you know, Aaron Boone let him go for 86 pitches. Um, so I do expect him to face around 20 batters, meaning he should face the bottom of the order a second time. So that's key here. I'm projecting him with a 62% chance to clear this number. So love the value. We're going to over four and a half strikeouts for Jorah Montgomery. Excellent. Very good. I was hoping it would be an Angels pick, but the Angels don't play today. So I thought that was your way of teaming. <laughs> no, I'm just a diehard Angels fan. I have to rep them whenever I can. So. That a boy. Well, hey, Sean Kerner, thanks so much, Director of Predictive Analytics. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see how Jordan Montgomery does on the bump. We'll see you. Thank you. Good luck today. Okay. Well, uh, we're not done with player props. Uh, that was a great way to set up Sean Zarello, your favorite prop for today's slate. I take MJ Melendez of the Royals over half an RBI here. So Kerner, Action Labs, they have that projected at 0 0.4, but you can get plus 200 on that number. So there is a slight edge there. What I've seen from Melendez so far, I really like. Power and play discipline. Swinging strike rate, 10%. It's about 1% better than league average, but his chase rate is only 25%. That's 7% better than league average, albeit in a small sample. But I do like what I've seen from his plate approach thus far. Plus raw power. Hitting higher in that Royals lineup may even hit higher today than he has previously. It was up to six yesterday. He's homered on consecutive days, so maybe they continue to move him up with Salvador Perez out of the lineup. So highest total on the board in terms of a game total, MJ Melendez over half an RBI at plus 200. Uh, Melendez DHing batting fifth today. Is right? Yep, moved up again. There you go. So batting fifth in the lineup uh, today for the Royals against the White Sox. How about you, Colin Wilson? Player prop that you're eyeing today. Well, the MJ Melendez, I just got to say, the Royals got a tough decision here because he is blocked for a long time, and he's going to be a power hitter, a great hitter and catcher. So it's interesting to see what they do at the break if they want to get a bigger piece. I'm going to do back to George Kirby. We mentioned it again. I'm, I'm betting the strikeout prop on the over every time he's going. And the good news is we actually see value on it. On our projections with Sean Kerner, he makes it 4.8. We can get over 4.5 at plus 125. So you give me plus money, and Sean Kerner's projection is over 4.5. I'm going to take that. So we're going to back his fastball usage. It's over 50%. And Boston's negative run value on four seamers this year. And more importantly, Boston can't hit right-handed pitching. 30th in chase percentage. They swing at everything. 25th in rate. Wait, whiff rate. When they swing, they don't hit anything. So Boston swings a ton. They miss a ton. Action Labs has this at 4.8. That's good enough for me to back Sean Kerner's numbers over 4.5 on George Kirby strikeout prop. Love it. And you, I'm seeing plus 130 on DraftKings right now. So there's uh, better numbers out there. We encourage all of you to shop those lines when you get involved on the uh, the baseball prop market, any market for that matter. Okay, moving on to fading the public. In the Action Network app today, just eight games on this uh, slate. Public is loving, loving the Astros who just lost two out of three to Boston. They are at home taking on the Texas Rangers. 84% of the bets, 94% of the cash on the Strohs today. Zerillo, you fading the Strohs, or are they the right side despite the public percentages here? I bet the Astros. Bet them last night. Both halves like their full game lineup to minus nine, 190, but prefer their first five line projected that closer to minus 250, would set minus 227 as my price target. The walks for Framber Valdez this year have been a bit concerning. Still around 10%. That's where he was last year, but he's the highest ground ball rate in the game. 70%. He walks the guy, immediately gets a double play. Expected indicators in the low threes, 325 expected FIP, expected ERA. So even with that high walk rate, he's still pitching extremely well. And Glenn Otto, on the other hand, bad command two, good stuff, but his expected indicator is north of seven. Project him closer to a 4.55 ERA in terms of his pitching stats. So see a pretty significant difference in the starting pitching matchup. So I laid the juice on the Astros. You could still get minus 200 for the first five out there. Said I like it up to minus 227. We talk about this with the player prop market when we had Sean on. When you have one of those Action Network Pro accounts, you can also track 
uh, sharp action. Tra sharp money is coming in on Houston. Um, Colin, are you riding the Astros today as well, back home against the Rangers? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I make it minus 192 is around Sean's projection. So it is getting a little, you know, the steam's going to come late in the day. That's why we bet overnight sometimes. That's why you need the action app and see what Sean and I put in the night before. But there is a lot of problems here for Glenn Otto. The fact that, uh, you know, Houston just hammers right-handers. Uh, and for Amber Valdez and the Astros, you know, the, the Rangers struggle with all pitches that are in Valdez's uh, arsenal. Specifically, they're minus 10 run value against fastballs. Uh, and, and, you know, the Houston pin is far better than the Rangers in terms of K to walk ratio, in terms of XFIP. So I would swallow the juice, but more than likely I'll play the run line. Uh, there's just too many advantages here for Houston against Rangers. Okay, very good. Once again, if you're just uh, tuning in, Colin Wilson's coming to us live from the 18th green at the PGA Championship. He's very settled in, looking sharp with the shades and whatnot. Sean Zarillo and I both in the home office. If you're in the uh, YouTube chat... <laughs> Folks, we already see some of you have done this. If you're just tuning in, we have a contest for all of you tuning in. Choose one player today that's going to hit a home run. First person to guess correctly, you win 50 bucks, courtesy of us at Action Network. One guess per person, please. So don't go, you know, giving out five or six picks. If you have any questions also, feel free to drop them. Uh, we'll do our best to get to questions here uh, as the show rolls on. So we see uh, some of you already in here. Kyle, Josh, Shiv, uh, Wisconsin guy. Ellie uh, is in here as well. So if you have a home run pick, drop it in. The folks behind the scenes will indeed mark it down. Let's move back to the Yankees. We've talked about the Yankees, and Colin Wilson is already on the Yankees today. First five. We got the Jordan Montgomery prop today. The Yankees have won four in a row, nine of ten, Colin. Best record in baseball. Um, you guys both have a pick, as I said, for this game coming up today. It's a very short. It's coming up very soon, 20, 20 minutes-ish 20 minutes from now. Um <laughs> from build your own park in Baltimore. Just can you re reiterate, uh, Colin, you're on the, you're on the Yankees first five. Do you have another play from this game on the New York Yankees? Uh, I do. Uh, do Brandon, could you remind me what I, what I put in there? Because I have a couple of plays. You like, the, you like the Yankees to score runs today. Four and a half is the yes, run total. Over like 40, thank you. Over four and a half. The total is eight and there's been some resistance in the market. It came from eight and a half down to eight. I don't understand with Bruce Zimmerman on the mound. And we talked about Jordan Montgomery. And, and Sean, I agree with all of his props. But at the same time, the, the K rate is still not getting to what he's achieved in the past. The money, the, 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 the total on this went from eight and a half to eight. And that gave me a lot of pause. So if I had to bet on someone to score some runs, it's going to be the New York Yankees over five and a half. And, and you know, I pivot back to number one in barrel rate in, in, the, in all of Major League Baseball. But it goes farther than that. They're second against left-handers and weighted runs created. Plus, the fourth in Woba, they're second in ISO. So when they make contact, like we said with the barrels, it's going to go really far. And then if you need some assistance in this, this Orioles bullpen will help you out and get a couple runs there at the end. So I like over four and a half on Yankees team total. Zarillo, you like the Orioles full game. Please explain. Yeah, I projected this closer to plus 160. I would bet it to 172. Still plus 180 right now at points bet. I mean, look, the Orioles are going to lose to the Yankees more often than not, but the Yankees are not going to win at 122 win pace for the rest of the season. I think you're going to start seeing some extra juice baked into that Yankees line. They're a great team. Pitching is better than we thought it'd be coming into the season. That said, I still think this line is a bit overinflated. The one thing I want to note, you mentioned the joke about Camden Yards left field this season. It has been mm. pushed back 30 or 40 feet. Batting average for right-handed hitters there has plummeted. All stats for right-handed hitters there have plummeted. Batting average down from about 240 to 210 for right-handed bats in Camden Yards. Have two lefty starters here. Games where either starter has been left-handed in Camden this year, the under is 9-1. and one. So definitely something to look out for. Maybe the lefties getting a bit more support from that left field wall being pushed back. The righties can't pull the ball on them as easily. Also seeing some funky plays in the outfield defensively. Outfielders running into walls, taking awkward angles to the ball the way the Corners sort of jut out now there. So it's just a very awkward environment. But I think that left field wall has completely changed the run environment in Camden Yards. It was about 10% above average last year. I've dropped it all the way to 5% below average based on what I've seen this year. Total set at eight for this game. And I think it's good that we do that to mention, you know, with, with, with the ballpark down in Baltimore, because, you know, we hear all this uh, slander about the Yankees short porch and right field. But then again, the, uh, the advantages, the disadvantages, it's there for both teams today. So 
Cirillo likes the Orioles to pull uh, to pull through uh, at home this afternoon. Twelve thirty. I should also mention there's a uh, for Collins point yep. over um today in Manny Gonzalez fifty five percent career to the over. If you just blindly bet his unders, you'd be down thirty six units. That's why I didn't play the total, but okay. that is worth noting always as the umpires and Manny Gonzalez is definitely an over umpire. Okay, very good. Over right now is at minus one fifteen. Uh, the under at minus one hundred five. Very good. Well, thank you all so much for joining us on the show. We encourage you, as always, we mentioned the pro account for those player props and also to track signals. Download the Action Network app to get the rest of our picks. Sean, Colin, they're in the app all the time, putting their picks in there, all the data and analysis available. Before we go, let's go around the diamond. One more pick from each of you guys in just a couple sentences or less, the amount of time it takes to turn a double play. We'll go to you first, Colin Wilson. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Padres. I'm going to uh, get get behind you, Darvish, here. Uh, the Padres are the second best in strikeouts in MLB versus righties. They're going to hit every pitch that Gibson throws except for his slider. Uh, but everything else, they're going to be able to hammer here. It's truly slam Diego going on right now. I don't trust this Phillies bullpen whatsoever. Dead last in walk rate, 29th in BABIP, uh, which you know could have some regression at some point. But right now, this Phillies bullpen can get combustible. Uh, I, I see a lot of offensive – categories especially the fact that they don't strike out they make great contact barrel rates in the top 10 uh i'm gonna go with san diego here and their team total three and a half the over uh, juice to minus 140 so that feels like it bodes well zarillo your final pick for us on the show today royals money line like it down to plus 117 the value is gone from the first five line unfortunately but i still like the full game line you can get it at plus 125 at DraftKings. Vince Velasquez, 6.6 .6 expected ERA. He was at 5.3 last season. Carlos Hernandez has not been good either, but home field advantage, defensive advantage for the Royals, that's what makes them closer to a coin flip, in my opinion. Okay, very good. Excellent stuff, as always. All right, Colin, you can you can get out of here. Go enjoy the, uh, the sunlight. Get your vitamin D, and uh, don't heckle too many golfers out there, okay? Back to Chase and Tiger. Thanks for having me on, guys. All right. Very good. For Sean Zarillo as well, Brendan Glasheen. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to Payoff Pitch. Best of luck with your picks today. And be sure to join us on the Payoff Pitch podcast. We'll have that out Friday, getting you set for the Friday slate, Major League Baseball. We'll see you.